Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the Pyraminx. The Pyraminx is an interesting cube and it is shaped like a pyramid. Though it may look difficult to solve because of its shape, it is actually one of the easiest cubes. First we're going to mix up the cube and then I'm going to tell you the different use cases which you might have to use in order to solve this cube. Let's mix it up. So now I've mixed up the cube and let's start solving it. So if you have solved cubes before, um, the first thing that you always do when, you solve, when you're solving a cube is you solve one side. So we're going to solve one side. I'm going to pick the blue side. So when we are solving the blue side, we want, uh, it doesn't, the corner pieces don't always matter because they're always going to be in the right position. What really matters are these center pieces. On this cube, there's three center pieces. This one, these three. And these ones are edge pieces because they have two faces. Then we have our corner ones, which are not important at all because they're always going to be oriented the correct way. So let's get to solving it. Now solving, uh, now solving the face may be very easy, but aligning the corners may not be. So let's, uh, let's align the corners first. So to align the corners, we need to have all three center pieces on one face. So I just have to do one simple rotation and we have all three center pieces on one face. But sometimes uh, one of the center pieces may, uh, may not be cl close to the uh, face. Let's find one that isn't. Okay, so as you can see, when I rotate this center piece, this one is not close to, to its face. So when we turn it over, this one actually gets switched there. So what we're gonna do is uh, to solve it, just turn it one more time and both pieces are out of order, but both pieces are in the corner corner place where they need to be. So two twists and they're all on the same page. So let's continue to solve the blue. Let's not worry about the, the corner pieces right now. Let's worry about these edge pieces. So when we install the edge pieces, they want to be corresponding with the correct color on both of these sides, which is blue, and both of these sides, which is green. So let's define the blue and green piece. So the blue and green piece is right over here and they're corresponding to both sides. Now to put it in, we're simply gonna turn it over uh, to the left or right. So if, if we're gonna install it on the right, it, we're gonna have to match these two arrows. So they look like arrows pointing the other way. So right here. And then we're gonna turn them like that so that this blue center piece comes down. Now, what, what we're gonna do from here is simply push this piece in and so that both blue arrows are matching. Now this may apply to whatever color you have. And now the final step we're gonna do is turn it back up and that's it. Great, let's move on to the next one. So we have yellow and yellow and blue and blue. Let's find that piece. So we have it right here, blue and yellow. Simple, for this one, we're gonna turn this piece down. We already have it in position to install. We can see these two yellow arrows. And now we're just going to turn this part down. I'm going to turn this over there and that's it. Turn it back up and it's in. Let's do this with the final piece. So we're trying to find the, the red and the blue piece. So the red and the blue piece is right here. Let's put it in. Now that we have both of the red arrows, we can install it into the blue place. Just like that, with that same algorithm. Now, as I said, we don't have to worry about the corner pieces and simply twist them so that they're all blue. Twist the first one so that it's blue, second one so that it's blue, third one so that it's blue. And that's it. So in the last layer, we we have the red top piece and we're, we're just gonna rotate it so that it matches with the center piece of their color. That's gonna be very easy. Just one twist or two twists and it's matching. Great. Let's not worry about that right now. What we wanna worry about is getting all these pieces in the right position. Now this may look difficult because they're oriented the wrong way because this piece needs to be here. And you might think you have to do a complicated algorithm, but you actually don't. It's actually quite a simple algorithm. First, we're gonna take this corner part, like this mini pyramid, and we're gonna turn it like that. Next, we're gonna do the same, but it's gonna be on the right side. Turn it back. Now, as you can see, both, it should still have the piece that you started it with first aligning. Then we're gonna turn it back and turn it back up. Great. 
If we have this, that means we know that our cube is ready to solve. Oh well, wait, but the blue is out of position. What do we do now? Simple. We just put it back in like the original way that we installed our edge pieces. Turn it up. Turn it to the left or to the right. Bring this piece up and put it back in. And as you can see, we have successfully solved the pyraminx. Now there may be another use case which I'm going to demonstrate to solve. And that one's just as easy. So you might get the use case where where it might look like this or or it's like that. So the first thing you're going to do is uh not not going to keep it like this. You're going to align all the three uh center pieces as we always do. Next, we're going to turn the top piece like in our last move back to the actual side. So like that. Then the, we're going to do another algorithm. This one's just as easy as the first. We're going to take the left piece and it's only going to operate on the left, so we don't have to worry about the right part. Then we're going to turn it counterclockwise. And then we're going to bring it back down. And turn it again. Bring it back up and insert the piece again. And put it back down. Now, this may not have done much, but you may have to repeat this algorithm uh, one or two times so that you have solved the cube. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Now I've repeated this algorithm twice and we have successfully solved the pyraminx. So guys, that is the pyraminx. Make sure to solve it and show it to your friends. Thank you.